In the city of Grenoble in southern France, at the tourist information office, well, you see this woman in the red hat waiting her turn? If she'd just turn around, she'd notice that funny-looking gizmo there. It can print out a story written for somebody just like her, somebody killing time waiting. It's very, very short stories. One minute, three minutes, five minutes. You see, you push a button according to how long you want to spend reading, and voila, a vending machine for literature. And it's free. We started this by saying, if we want to be a publisher, uh -huh. how would we do it today? <laughs> it's a shame to not know the pleasure to read. Christophe Sebiud and Quentin Pleple are two of the architects of the publishing house of Short Edition. We have a website, shortedition.com, where authors can submit stories. The website went up five years ago, and according to Sylvia Tempesta, within a week people were finding them. One week. Mm. And you had how many? Uh... Just one, and we said, oh, wow, we have one white <laughs> <laughs> Five years later, they have roughly 10,000 authors and a community of 150,000 regular readers. What is different between us and another traditional publisher uh -huh. is that we don't choose what we're going to publish. The community picks, uh -huh. and the community is voting for the best one. And the best are collected and published in book form in book like that. and on the machine. And even the machine selects randomly from about 600 stories in its memory. And the authors? The authors can be anyone, it's not only... Uh, oops, sorry, sorry. What he was about to say is that it's not just about people who want to be best-selling authors. In fact, a lot of them submit anonymously. But what almost everybody wants is some kind of feedback on their work. They rather have a few people that read the stories mm -hmm. and then give some feedback and say, it's cool, I liked it, or you could have written like that, or stuff like that. Rather than hundreds of anonymous people that just read and don't comment. And the stories, well... Je me regardais dans la glace, mes ciseaux à la main, et ma frange trop courte. Je suis nul. This one could be considered a bad hair day that went really wrong. And then at the end she says, I have my... Uh, Ciseaux, how do you say that? My, scissors? my scissors. And so what should I do with that? And she <laughs> so crève les yeux and she says, people won't make laugh at me because you don't make laugh aveugle. <laughs> yeah, that's so <awful. laughs> It's French humor, you know. Isabelle Pleple, one of the principals, says they got the idea one day standing in front of a vending machine. Et on s'est dit, les histoires courtes, c'est très pratique. Il devrait même y en avoir ici dans la machine. Once they had a prototype, they took it to the mayor of Grenoble, Eric Piol, who installed the first one in City Hall. When you take some uh, art and you place it in an area where you don't expect it, you can create something. He was instrumental in underwriting the first eight machines, now placed around the city in municipal buildings. They got so much press that orders have been coming in from around the world. New Zealand, Australia, Indonesia, India. And from the original eight machines, and, they've uh, just ordered... 45. 45. Yes, 45. And we plan to have hundreds of them. I am also interested to help you to have another story for after. Thank you. Thank you, Monsieur.